Chairman of the Jubilee Party, led by the Acting Secretary General Kanini Kega, now claims to have ousted former President Uhuru Kenyatta as a Jubilee Party leader. The faction has named nominated MP Sabina Shege as Uhuru Kenyatta's replacement. This comes amid continued infighting within the party. In a statement on Tuesday, Kega claimed that Kenyatta ceased to hold office in March 2023. According to Kega, the constitution does not allow a retired president to hold office in any political party for more than six months. Jubilee party wrangles have taken a new twist after faction of the party led by the Iala MP Kanini Kega ousted former President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the party chairman. The move comes days after President Kenyatta moved in at the party's headquarters to defend the party from what he termed as hostile takeover. In his replacement, the team named nominated member of parliament Sabina Shege as the acting Jubilee party leader. Pending of the special national delegate, the Honorable Sabina Chege, party leader of the party. The latest move by the former president to issue letters to members has been termed illegal and political misconduct. There has been division in the Jubilee party, with some of its members supporting Jeremiah Kioni and others Kanini Kega. Kega said Uhuru has violated the party's constitution by summoning a national delegates convention for May 22nd through NEC resolutions attended by only seven members. That the notice issued by the former party leader purporting to convene an NDC on the 22nd of May 2023 is hereby suspended and the matter is referred to the Internal Dispute Resolution Committee for their further action. By purporting to conduct a neck meeting and proceeding to invite suspended officials acted in contempt, contempt of the political party's dispute tribunal, a judgment delivered on the 19th of April 2023. The plan to have Uhuru out is said to have been orchestrated at the beginning of the year when the nominated MP Sabina Shege started causing to the government side. A tweet by Trade CS Moses Kuria on the 14th of February indicates that Sabina was the incoming Jubilee chairperson after Uhuru Kenyatta. The statement was made amid wrangles within the party that saw the party divide into two factions, one led by Jeremiah Kioni and the other by Kanini Hega. The former ruling party has been on the Kenya Kwanza's menu of wing political parties and the latest move seems to be part of the plan to have the party in its entirety part of government and not the opposition. The Jubilee wrangles have also been a subject in the political arena with the Azimio side calling out the government for what they termed as destroying rival political parties and had threatened to present a petition to the president during the Tuesday protests.